हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल आई एम ओम एंड वी फॉर स्टडिंग हाउ टू मेक अ मॉडल इन टेक्ला स्ट्रक्चरल डिजाइनर सो इन द लास्ट क्लास वी हैव सीन हाउ टू मेक अ मॉडल ऑफ टू स्टोरी बिल्डिंग यूजिंग अ ऑटो कैट प्लान नाउ वी विल मेक दैट मॉडल टू थ्री स्टोरी एंड अप्लाई विंड लोड ऑन द सेम प्लान इन एडिशन टू डैट सम ऑफ द मेम्बर्स इन आवर प्रीवियस मॉडल फेल्ड so today we will learn how to make changes and pass our model when some member fail so let's start so this is our model in which we have to assign the loads so this is our three story building now and our model is completed we have already assigned the beams slabs wherever it is required we have also assigned our one way slab and two way slabs okay so let's go to the assigning the wind load so to assign the wind load what we need to do we need to go to the loads and assign the dead load and live loads first so i will go to my plinth level we won't choose the foundation level as we don't have to assign any load over here and we will go to the plinth level here we need to assign dead load we will check full odl and make it 11 kN per meter and assign the dead load on the outer walls will also assign it around the staircase now we'll choose the load of 5.5 kN per meter and assign it on internal walls keep that in mind that you have to click just once otherwise you will accidentally assign the load two times and you will find error in your model now let's go back to our structure 3d and see whether your loads are assigned properly or not so you can see we have our loads and that two desired loads at the places where we need it so now we need to to go back to the ground floor roof level so we are going to the ground floor roof level and we will assign dead load here notice i have not assigned live load on this floor because there won't be any slab casted on this floor so on the ground floor roof level we will choose the dead load and now make it 11 for the external walls now choose the desired beams and assign the loads please note the load of 11 kN per meter will be just on the external walls and for internal walls it will be 5.5 kN per meter and now we need an impose load that is our live load on this floor so for that we go to the level load we will define how much load we need so it's 2 kN per meter square and we will assign it on this level so you can see that on our ground floor roof level dead loads are assigned like this and live loads 
are assigned like this. You can also check the value by just moving your cursor over the live load. Now, you must be wondering what if we go back to our model and try to copy the levels. So, can we copy the loads on the labels in this way? So let's have a try and let's check whether we can do it or not. And surprisingly, it is possible. So you can copy your loads too. Let's find out about the dead load. Oh my god, we can even copy our dead loads. So we don't need to assign the loads on each floor. You can see here is our imposed load which is already copied on the two floors and our dead loads are also copied on the two floors so it's a very easy software now we will make it unique so that any changes on a particular floor doesn't affect the another floor which is not required you can also take this as 100 mm because we don't need 125 mm thickness of slab on headroom roof level and in case it fails we can change it so changing the dimensions in particular structural designer is way easier than any other designing software so now let's go back to our model and now we need a load on the top floor that is second floor roof level where is our second floor roof level here so here we need to assign the dead loads so to assign the dead load we have chosen dead over here then we will go back to the load take the full UDL and we will take 3.5 as we have loads of just parapet wall and that two on the external portions of the second floor roof level we also have a load of 11 kN per meter at our external walls around the headroom so we need to assign now the live load which is imposed load we will make it 2 kN per meter square and we will choose this level we can see how easy it is to assign our loads let's have a look at the structure 3d if you will move your cursor on the loads you can check the value it's showing 3.5 kN per meter here and 11 kN per meter over here now we need to check for the imposed load so even it is properly assigned as 2 kN per meter on each floor now what about headroom roof level so let's check it so in headroom roof level either you can um, construct parapet wall over there or not so it's up to you so I will just uh, make it because the higher our load is the better it is in practical consideration because we will design it for the higher load so it can take the lower load easily imposed load so we have taken a load of 3.5 km per meter okay and about the imposed load we need a level load of 5 km per meter square we can choose it here because we have a water tank our on our headroom so we have made it 5 km per meter square and 
about the dead load we have 3.5 kN per meter ok so this was all about our dead load now what we need we need wind load so you can see wind which are is not highlighted here why because we haven't introduced frame in this structure so we will go back to our model and choose frames now we can make frames at the external portion of our model so we have assigned frame at our external grid so we have frames over here now now we can make wall panels on this so we will open our frames and we will open all the dialog boxes for our frames so you can see all the frames are open here and now we can assign the wall panels why this wall panel is required to assign this is because we haven't made walls on our model so we are assigning wall panels so that we can assign our wind load in this model sorry uh, let's assign the wall panel again uh, clicked double times that's why that uh, wall panel ended over there now here is my last phase and I am assigning my wall panel till the height of headroom so we'll go back to our model let's close the frames now they have uh, served their purpose so we can close them let's go to the structure 3d and see we have wall panels all around our model now what we need to do we need to choose our wall panels so let's select our wall panels I'm selecting my wall panels by holding the control button so do the same and now here it's decomposed to nodes I will make it rigid diagram now I will validate my structure to check whether I am wrong or not so here my wall panels are all around my model now let's go to the load and assign the wind load now we will take the worst case data and we will uncheck our consider topography box we will make our orientation to 90 degree and change our speed to 50 kilometer sorry 50 meters per second as it's a coral pro provision for Bhubaneswar we will make it terrain with numerous closely spaced obstructions because we can define it for different types of conditions but I will explain this in my upcoming video because if I will explain everything right now then that may cause a confusion so I will keep it for next video because these are four conditions and we will choose the third one today we will just learn how to assign the wind load and in our next class we will see how does we choose it and why we choose it so we'll make a fetch a distance of 5 meter next these values are from coral provisions you will learn how to see that like how do we know to 
go to the coral provisions in the wind load case we will add four wind cases and we will choose the directions 0 degree 180 degree and 270 degree we will click on ok so our wind can act from all the directions i will validate it don't forget to validate and save your structure I will name it as Ohm TST4 You can name it as per your wish It has nothing to do with the model Now I have assigned on by wind loads Now let's go to the seismic load So in the seismic wizard I have already explained this in my previous video so I won't explain it today so ignore seismic floor below the foundation level our zone is 3 our soil type is medium soil and importance factor is 1 as we are considering a residential building no plan irregularities yes we don't have a irregularity in our plan Our structure type is RCC MR moment resisting factor building without any masonry fill because we haven't we don't have masonry fill infill in this building that means we don't have a brick wall or any kind of wall in this that's why we were using wind panels which you can find here yeah it is moment frame system so we'll choose this one in both the types and click on next we will consider all the weights that we have assigned in our model we are ignoring service load because we have don't we haven't assigned that in our model we want to enclose localization so now let's go to the operating and uncheck the all the boxes which are considering working stress method okay because we are we will work on limit stress method finish now we need to use the load combinations so in load combination we need to generate operating is good here so our scenario is operating we will choose for the limited state method and we will uncheck all the boxes which are considering working stress method so i will quickly uncheck all the boxes and click on next here everything is fine i've already explained this load combination and seismic load in my previous video that's why i'm not emphasizing on these loads okay so i'll just click on okay i will validate my structure and i've assigned all the loads now i need to analyze my model so we'll go to analyze and analyze all static These processes have been explained so you can check the previous video uh, the new thing in this video is the wind load so we are checking for the wind load I will design it in analysis and design I will click on design all static so I was saying our main concern was how to assign the wind load now how do we choose where to assign the wind load how much speed is there to be chosen that depends on the city and that is already explained in our course so if you will go through the is code you will find it now you have to answer which is code is used for the wind load now here when we were constructing a two-story building then the column of 250 by 250 was okay 
but in this this isn't okay so we can change the dimension of the columns so how can you change the dimension of the column i will simply select my columns that are fading and almost all of them are failing let's check if you are having any more so no we have only this much so i will go to the column and change the dimension let's try with 300 by 300 first if this won't work we will go for the better option let's analyze it and let's wait for the result now we will see whether our columns are still failing or they are okay with this size so this is how we change the cross section and you can see how easy it is to change the cross section in tecla structural designer so let me know how many of you are having the tecla structural designer now so you can see now all of my columns are saved now so green means pass red means fail which is here you need to change it warning means it's not completely pass but you can construct on it so now my beams are also failing so i will change some of my beams okay so i will select i need to select my beams here in my headroom my beams are safe and my beams are not safe on the rest of my floors in this direction okay so i will go to the floor by floor i will again have a look at my beams okay so let's try to change the dimension of the beams i am having a hard time selecting my beams so i need to first of all i need to make this null so that this is not visual now from here in scene content i can turn off my slab items so now i can easily select my beams so these beams are failing okay i'm sorry go back to the slab i will turn off my let's go to the structure 3d and turn off the slab items over here so that i can see my beams on each of my floor and i can check my beams here oh i need to turn off the loads too because this is giving me a hard time so roof panels or loading i don't want to see any of this no slab items and make the changes in the 3d so that we can uncheck it properly so i need to turn off my loading slab openings i don't want to see any of this so now now you can see
I can just turn off everything so that I can easily select my beams that need to be changed. So on the headroom roof level everything was safe so it's okay over here. On this I have already selected. Now I need to work on this and I will check my beams. I will go back to my another level and check my beams. Checking means selecting. On the plinth, on the foundation level, there is no beam, so it's safe over over here. And on the plinth level, I will just select all my desired beams. Now I will go back and change the section of the beam. So 250 by 500. We can uh, go for the higher section, or we can make the changes. Let's uh, try 300 by 350. Okay. And let's uh, see what it does to our model. We will design it now. So in my last class, wind load was not there and in, in this class, what extra is here? Uh, we have one more floor and one more load which is, which is wind load. So you can see our structure has passed. So now this is safe. Okay. So this is how you can change the dimension of the structure and you can make it pass. Okay. So now that's all for today and uh, let me know what you else you want to know in uh, this section and um, like in this uh, category of videos and what you want to know in Tecla Structural Designer. Otherwise I will go back to our previous model and uh, I will compare this model again in my next class and I will also teach you how to uh, make foundation in Tecla Structural Designer. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you and have a nice day.